Well, students, faculty, and staff at Caledonia Elementary School rang in the new year with a new school. After almost two years of construction, the school opened on the first day of class yesterday. WCBI's Quentin Smith got a personal tour of the new school today. He's joining us now live in the studio to tell us more about it. Quentin. Andrea, just let me tell you, parents, teachers, and even students are all enjoying the newness of the facility. Now, the school was initially built because the, the uh, old building ran out of space, and so this school was built in an effort to provide a better learning environment for everyone. Excitement fills the hallways at Caledonia Elementary School as teachers and students are still overwhelmed by their new school. Raise your hand. Show me thumbs up if you agree. You can ask my husband. I didn't sleep the first two nights. I was so excited about coming and, and seeing the kids' reactions. It's just in a new location and it makes people feel better about coming here. With the new building also comes new additions for students to enjoy as well. We've got uh, a good cafeteria to eat in and good rooms to go, to go and learn in. That along with new technology and more classroom space for teachers and students. Here we got updated Pamitan boards, they're called interactive boards. Um, we still gonna have, we got two really nice computer labs. We have a science lab which we didn't have there and we got two music rooms two art rooms. The elementary school also has different colored hallways to help direct students to their classrooms. The kids are so excited. Everybody's just got such an upbeat positive attitude. So let's look at number one. Melissa Chance is a fifth grade teacher at the school and after having a limited amount of space in the old building, Chance says she's thrilled about finally having her own classroom again. Our tutoring students have their own room. Our special education students have their own room. Where in the other building we didn't have that. We had people who had to share, share rooms. We had people who didn't have rooms. And while everyone is still ecstatic and enjoying the newness of the building, faculty members are hoping it'll also serve as a motivational tool for students to work even harder. I think they realize that uh, everybody is putting their interests, you know, out, out front to be, you know, putting emphasis on their education. Now, right now, the school says their biggest problem is afternoon traffic congestion, where parents are coming to pick up their kids. Faculty members say right now they're currently working on a plan to help make things go more smoothly. Andrea. All right, Quentin. Good looking.